Happy holidays, everyone, and welcome to my casa. My name is Nina, and I write the blog, Sharing a Journey. And this is the first time that we really put together a Christmas special. <laughs> I don't know where this is going to go. I love doing crafts and DIYs in the holidays. I love entertaining. I love decorating. But there are a few things that I don't love, and they are ending up with boatloads of decor items that I have to store in my home or in a storage unit somewhere, that's a big no-no for me. So I like to use as much stuff from around the house as I possibly can. Now this year, we did things a little bit differently. We actually put together a bit of a color scheme and normally I just sort of have all sorts of decor items and all sorts of things that I have collected through the years. And this year we just decided that we are going to completely do it different. So I started out with a color scheme. I love gold and silver on the Christmas tree, but after I got my gold and silver Christmas ornaments up, I realized that it needed something. And what it needed was um, a little bit of red, I decided. I'm not usually the red and green girl, but this year I am. So what we decided to do was add just a little pop of red to the Christmas tree and to the rest of the decor around the house. Now, you may think, oh, you have to go out and buy all this stuff. Oh, no. What I did was I bought one small, inexpensive box of ornaments that were red. I bought some red ribbon from Joann's, and that is about it. Um, so we're going to get started. I'm going to show you some of my really basic ideas to help you decorate your Christmas and save money and storage space. So tip number one, I bought brown craft paper. Now I use the brown craft paper throughout the holiday season for a variety of things, from wrapping gifts to uh, table decor. It's great because you can just roll it out, use it, and then you can throw it away when you're done. But this is the, the beauty of the, the craft paper, is that it looks so, so beautiful with the red ribbons. And so this is going to be my plan for under the tree. Now, mind you, this is the first year I have ever really coordinated all of my under the tree presents, but isn't this just gorgeous. I just think it is so, so beautiful. Now, the next thing that I love to do is use vessels and use things that I already have that I use in rotation. And so I have a lot of pictures and other kinds of things that we use throughout the year. And oh, here we go. So this is a champagne bucket. I got it years and years ago. And I've just simply filled it full of balls and thrown in some beautiful red picks. And that's all. I mean, it is beautiful, it is simple, it is elegant, and the best part of it is that we use this bucket all year round for a variety of purposes and it doesn't require a special storage tub that takes up space in the garage. So that is my tip number one for sharing some ideas. I also have a picture, this we had for the fall. It's got these beautiful fairy lights. I don't know whether you can see them, but I had these beautiful little um, fall, um, what are these things called, acorns? <laughs> I had these beautiful acorns and then I threw in some of those same red picks and then again this vase is something that I use year-round we're constantly 
changing in and out flowers. And so I would strongly urge, instead of going out and buying more decor items, to just use the beautiful things that you have at home and just decorate them. Now, I live in Florida. Uh, there isn't a lot of that, like the opportunities to forage for beautiful outdoor um, for branches and so forth, like maybe up north. So we do use more artificial um, picks and that sort of thing, but it still is, is beautiful. It takes up very little room. Now, next up, the ribbon. I think ribbon is an essential through the holiday season, and I bought this whole pack of ribbon this year. Now, what I did was I went to, I think it was Michael's Crafts, and in the main section where all of the ribbon was, they were selling ribbons for $5 per spool. But I went back to the spot where they have all just regular ribbon, and I found this container of red ribbon all in one, and it was on sale, and I think I got it for like $3. So this is what's going to be used not only for gift wrapping, but I also use it for table decor. And so let's talk a little bit about the table. Now I'm going to be showing you some tablescapes and some beautiful things that we've done um, and we have already waiting in store for you, which I can't be. But I have these little um, ornaments and I often just tie a little bow and then put that on the plate. That's so pretty. Uh, just a pick with some greenery in it. Or sometimes I'll just grab a ribbon and then just tie it around the napkin. And that's all sometimes you need to make a really, really beautiful little Christmas table setting. And again, this takes up no space. You, it doesn't cost very much money. And oh my goodness gracious, it has that beautiful, classic holiday look. Isn't that pretty? And then if you wanted to just add a little pine pick to it, it's so elegant, so good. <laughs> so one of my big things lately has been, uh, if you read my blog, has been sort of simplifying, sort of letting go of a lot of things. And so this past fall, we did a, a large number of posts about letting go. And, and then that ties back to the theme today, which is using what you have. Now, I do have a couple of additional fun ideas. Uh, and I will show you the next little thing these little snow globey things. A couple of years ago, I went to the Dollar Tree and I purchased these little glass uh, rose bowls, I think they're called. My mother used to get roses and put them in these bowls, fish bowl, whatever you want to call it. I glued on a little handle and these I got from Amazon. And I use them for a variety of purposes, but this time during the holiday season, I like to just make a simple snow globe. And you just simply have a plate, a little figurine, a little bottle brush tree, and you have something cute to set at your table, or you can put them on little pedestals or put them in, like, in little spots where you need just to add that little bit of Christmas cheer. So that's another little idea for you for this holiday season. And with that said, I think we started out the holidays pretty darn good. So I'm hoping that you'll hop by and just grab yourself some ribbon and some simple basics and use those this year instead of running out and buying tons and tons of stuff.